Hello and welcome to Taxtron web tutorial video series. In our last video, we covered all the important details about the Canada Workers' Benefit, CWB, including eligibility and income limits. You can find the link to that video right in the description below, so feel free to check it out first, and then come back to join us here for the next step. Today, we are taking things a step further by showing you exactly how to claim or report CWB and use the RC210 form on Taxtron Web. Let's get started. Log into the Taxtron Web platform. From the T1 client section, select an existing client or create a new one. In this example, we will use a scenario where our taxpayer is single and their T4 income is $34,300. Let's walk through it. First, we need to ensure that the personal information under the Identification tab is complete. Set the marital status as single. This is a crucial step to ensure everything is filed correctly. Next, navigate to the Income tab and locate the Profile tab. Here, answer yes to the question, did you work in 2023, and check mark the tile with T4 and click next, you will land on T4 step. Complete the T4 by entering the amounts shown in box 14 and box 22, $34,300 in box 14, and $4,500 in box 22. Once the T4 is entered, the software will automatically check your eligibility for the CWB. If you want, you can still double-check by navigating to the Deduction Profile, under the Other Tax Info tab, where you will see the CWB question is already answered as yes. Now, to see how the CWB gets reported on the return, navigate to the Review and File page. Download a copy of the record-keeping document, then scroll down to Schedule 6 for the Canada Workers' Benefit. On the second page. So now, scroll down to Step 2, where you will see the calculation of the basic CWB, showing that this person is receiving $141.94 for Canada Workers' Benefits. Next, we will make some changes to the same return for our next scenario, where we will make the taxpayer disabled and add an eligible dependent son, to see how this affects the CWB. Let's go back to the Address sub-tab under the Identification tab and answer yes to the question, are you eligible to claim the disability tax credit, CRA has a valid T2201 form on record? Click Next and you will land on the Dependent page. Answer Yes to the question, do you have children or financially support another person? Click Next and complete the dependent information, including first name, last name, date of birth, relationship to you, and the dependent's net income. You also need to answer Yes to confirm the dependent is eligible. Now, let's navigate to the Review and File section. From here, download a copy of the record-keeping document for the tax return. Once you have it, scroll down to Schedule 6, Canada Workers' Benefit. This time, you will notice a few key changes. First, the question, do you have an eligible dependent, is now answered, yes. Also, the question, are you eligible for the Disability Tax Credit, DTC? is also marked, yes. These changes are important because they affect the amount of the benefit the taxpayer will receive. Now, even though these changes were made, the family net income remains the same as before. So, let's scroll down to step 2 of the CWB calculation. Here, we can see the taxpayer is receiving $2,616 for having an eligible dependent. As a resultant, the taxpayer is eligible to receive $1,767.79 for the basic Canada workers' benefit. However, because the taxpayer is also disabled, 
they are eligible for an additional amount the CWB Disability Supplement. This supplement adds $784 on top of the basic CWB amount. So, when we add everything together after calculation, the total CWB amount comes to $2,551.79. This amount will be reported on line 45300 of the T1 general tax return. In our final scenario, we will focus on the RC210, which is the slip you receive from the CRA when you get an Advanced Canada Workers Benefit CWB payment. Let's say you have received an advanced CWB for the same scenario we have been working with. First, navigate to the Income tab. You will be asked the question, did you receive any other type of income? Select Yes to this question. Then, check the box for RC210 to indicate that you've received an advanced CWB payment. Click Next and you will need to enter the amounts from the RC210 tax slip you received from the CRA. In box 10, input $800. In box 11, input $400. After entering these details, click Next to proceed. Now, navigate to the Review and File page. Download a copy of the record-keeping document for the tax return. Once you have it, Scroll down to Schedule 6, Canada Workers' Benefit. As you scroll to the Step 4 page, you will see the Advanced Canada Workers' Benefit listed, with the total amount of $1,200, which will be reported on Line 41500 of the return. And that's it for our today's tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.